We've talked about joint probabilities, these individual cells in the middle. We've talked about marginal probabilities, the sum of the joint probabilities in a given column or row, these guys in the margins. So let's next turn to conditional probabilities, the probability of one variable given that another variable takes a certain value. I know this sounds a little bit weird right now, but so check it out. So given that a person has blue eyes, given that we know that information, what is the probability that they have black hair? What is the probability that they have brown hair, blonde hair, or red hair in this population? Let's say the probability that the hair color is black, given that the eyes are blue, is equal to the probability of black hair and blue eyes, this right here, divided by the probability of blue eyes. Out of all the people who have blue eyes, how many of them also have black hair? So we take this guy and we put it over this guy. And so this gives us 8.3%. Okay, great. So your turn. Find the following conditional probabilities. Did you find them? In each case, black hair is given. So we know we're limited to this first column. Boom. And they add up to one, just like you'd expect. What's really interesting, though, is check this out. So these are our conditionals. These are the conditionals that you just found. These were our original marginal probabilities. If we plot these and we plot these, these are the original. This is the marginal of eye color. So the probability that eyes are blue is 36%, eyes are brown is 37%, and eyes are green or hazel is 27%. That's this graph right here. Given that we observed that the eyes are black, now the probability of eye color changes. So to visualize this, we can see that blue dropped to 16.7%, and so did green eyes, but the probability of brown eyes jumped up quite a bit to 66.7%. So these are probability distributions. They show the probability of a variable taking on certain values. And we can see that they change in light of new information. Pretty neat. I know we've been dealing with lots of symbols here, so let's put it into words. Conditional is equal to the joint probability divided by the marginal probability. So the conditional of eyes given hair color is equal to the probability of the, jo the joint probability of eyes and hair color divided by the marginal probability of hair color. Notice that the given is the one you divide by. If we rearrange this, if we multiply both sides by the marginal here, so imagine times probability of h times probability of h, boom, we get this. So the marginal times the conditional gets us back to the joint. I think we're ready to, to tackle a pretty big question here. So let's, let's, uh, let's give it a whirl. Say you know these. Say you're given what these probability values actually are. You know the conditional of E given H. You know the marginal of H. And you know the joint probability of E and H. How can you find the other conditional? the probability of H given E. We have E given H. How can we use these three things here to find this? Did you get it? Well, if not, here's a hint. Given this, try it one more time. Woohoo! You got it! Or you're close if you haven't got it exactly. Let's walk through it though, just to clarify, um, because it can be a little tricky. Here's what we want. We want the probability of hair color given a certain eye color. Well, the definition of this conditional probability is just this. The joint of hair color and eye color, the two that we're interested in, over the probability of that eye color, the marginal. So joint over marginal equals conditional. We've seen that before. But we can re-express this joint probability like so. The probability of the hair color times the probability of the eye color given the hair color. So this equals this in the numerator. Our denominator hasn't changed at all. This right here is Bayes' rule. So the marginal of 1 times the probability of E given that marginal over the other marginal is this right here. This, this step just shows more explicitly how we get the marginal. We take all the joints and we sum over 
the ones we're not currently interested in. We sum over all the different hair colors to get the eye color we're interested in. So the probability of a certain hair color given an eye color is the probability of that hair color times the probability of the eye color given the hair color over the probability of the eye color. So that times that over the one that's given, because we're given it. It's out of that. Out of the eye color probabilities, how many of those are hair and eye? Does that make sense? So this right here allows you to go from these three to this one. And boom, Bayes rule. Very important. It may not look like anything astounding at the moment, but I assure you it's extremely important.